Hi, my name is Jack Taylor and in this video I'm going to show you the 5 things that I loved about Nam Province in Northern Thailand. Nam Province is maybe a less popular tourist destination than Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai in Northern Thailand, but personally I enjoyed it more than both of them and here's why. The first thing I want to talk about is the Nan Loop, which is a biking route in between Nan City, Pua, Bokla and then back to Nan City. It's about 200 kilometers in total. The whole loop can be done a day if you need it, but I'd recommend stopping at the town along the way for a night or so. As you can see, some of the views are amazing, and for the most part the ride wasn't too difficult. This was my first time doing a multiple day scooter trip, and to be honest, the only difficult part was Doi Pukar Mountain, where it was pretty windy and there were some steep hills. The second thing on the list is Nan City itself, especially the temples and the art around the city. Here you can see the White Temple or Wat Ming Wang, which is quite similar to the more famous White Temple in Chiang Rai. Another one of the city's famous temples is Wat Pumin. The walls of this temple are covered with a huge painting depicting local life from about 100 years ago when it was drawn. The most famous section of the painting shows a man whispering to a woman, and you can see it here. It's known as the Whisper of Love, and you can see this part of the painting all around the city. So number three on my list is the rice paddies of Pua, and in particular the Paysanay Feikan Resort, where we stayed for about three days of the trip. 
The reason I liked this place was that it was completely out of the way. We were pretty much staying right in the paddy field, completely away from everything. One of the things I enjoyed most about this place was going for early morning hikes in the surrounding areas. One of the only things nearby the hotel was this restaurant, which is great pizza, great wine, and great views of the paddy fields. And poor town center was just a short bike ride away. Khao Soi is the king of the Thai food. Khao Soi comes from Northern Thailand, therefore Nam Province has a great Khao Soi. One thing I never really tried before though was Nam Prick, which is a kind of chilli sauce served with Thai sausages. Pretty much all the food we ate this week though was delicious. <laughs> Number five on my list might not be for everyone, but Nam Province has some pretty cool wildlife. Some of it beautiful, some of it gross. And some of it pretty weird. Little caterpillar. The personal highlight of everything we saw has to be this jungle crap. We were about 2,000 meters above sea level in the middle of the jungle, so I have no idea what he was doing.
I hope you've enjoyed my video about the top five things from Nam Province. I really enjoyed this trip and I'd also recommend visiting to anyone who's looking to get slightly off the beaten path in Thailand. Thanks for watching and goodbye.